Hi everybody, I'm Xander Gamble and I'm going to talk to you today about how to blog effectively. Everybody's blogging, but uh, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I've blogged for the United States Navy as well as for educational and personal purposes. Uh, there's five key components to, to maintaining a good blog. You want uh, good content, you want to make it relevant, timely, consistent, and you want to advertise yourself. Uh, these are all really important. Uh, Bill Gates once said that content is king, and what he was saying is, is that you really need to get really good content out there for people to pay attention to what you're talking about, or what you're blogging about in this case. And the two, two things you need is you either want it to be informative, or you want it to be entertaining. When you talk about informative, you're talking about not just, you know, like the news, but you're talking about uh, how-to blogs and things like that, you know, information that people really want to know. Uh, that's the first uh, key ingredient. The second is you want it to be entertaining. Uh, people like to, to watch videos and read stories and, and cook and stuff like that. So, you know, if you get out entertaining things, people will pay attention to what you're talking about or what you're blogging about in this case. Uh, the next thing is you want to make it relevant. Make it so, number one. Uh, it's important to make your content relevant to your audience, so you really need to get to know your audience. If you understand your audience, if you understand what their wants, what their needs, what their desires are, then you understand what it is that people uh, are going to be reading about. So understand your audience and, and understand you know, how even they want to read your blog, you know, what kind of voice uh, responds well to them. Analytics is good for this. Uh, you also need to come up with a subject. You know, don't just blog about every single thing that passes your fancy. Come up with a specific subject uh, and, and define it so that people know when they come to your blog, they know what they're going to be reading about. Really good is niche subjects. These niche subjects will, uh, you know, help to, to get very, very unique blogs out there. Niche subjects could be from being a tall white man in, in uh, Japan to, uh, to calico cats in Tennessee. You also want to make it timely. Time after time. Uh, Cindy Lauper sings the song, but it's, it's really, um, you want to make it timely. You want to make uh, it so that uh, it's relevant to the time. You want to know what your current events are. You know, if you're blogging about uh, an American flag pan in the middle of Christmas, it's probably not as relevant as uh, blogging about it during the 4th of July or election season. You also want to know when to post. You know, different times of the day and different days of the week are better for posting for getting a bigger audience than, than other times uh, because people are online at that time. So do some research. Find out when is it that people are most likely to be online, most likely to read your post, and then schedule your posts for that time. Uh, the other thing that you want to remember is you want to do a little research on analytics. Uh, make sure that you know that they are following you. Uh, be consistent. Damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead, said David Farragut. Um, he wanted to maintain a consistent course, and you need to maintain consistency in your blog for it to be effective. So set a schedule. Make sure you know you have your defined schedule and people know what it is. If you're going to blog three times a week every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, do it every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you're only going to do it once a month or once a week, do it once a month or once a week, but make sure it's consistent. And you want to maintain it. Don't just uh, start doing it and then give up halfway through and then come back later because this will throw off your credibility and people are less likely to keep watching or uh, following you on your blog. Also, shameless self-promotion. You want to advertise yourself like a peacock. You know, you want to get your information out there. You want to get your blog out there. You want people to be aware that you exist if they're going to come to you. The ways that you can do this is through social media, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, whatever it is, get your blog out there, get your name out there. That way people know that you exist and they can find you. Uh, the other effective way to do this is uh, throw your tag on your email or, or even tell people or put it on a business card. Also, hyperlink. Hyperlink other people. Advertise other people, other people's blogs, and then you'll be more relevant on search engines. So it'll increase your search engine optimization. They'll hyperlink back to you. And that is how you can help yourself maintain an effective blog. Thank you very much.